Today, we'll derive Euler's formula without using Taylor series. Instead, we'll connect trigonometry integrals and logarithms to reach the result in a clean and elegant way. We start with the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared. That integral equals arctangent of x from basic calculus. Now we can also write it as 1 over i multiplied by the integral of i dx over 1 minus ix squared. Since both expressions equal the same thing, we can set them equal. That gives us arctangent of x equals 1 over 2i times the natural log of the fraction 1 plus i minus x over 1 minus i minus x. This connects a trig function to the logarithm of a complex fraction. That's the key first step. Step 2. Substitute x equals tangent theta. If x equals tangent theta, then arctangent of x simply equals theta. So plugging this in, we get 2i theta equals the natural log of the fraction 1 plus i tangent theta over 1 minus i tangent theta. Now we're working with an angle theta instead of x, which sets up the trig simplification. Step 3. Simplify the complex fraction. Remember, tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, so multiply numerator and denominator by cosine theta. This turns the fraction into cosine theta plus i sine theta over cosine theta minus i sine theta. To simplify, uh, multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. That gives us cosine theta plus i sine theta squared over cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, but cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So the denominator disappears. We're left with just cosine theta plus sine theta, all squared. Step 4. Use logarithm rules to simplify. Plug this back into the equation from step 2. 2i theta equals the natural log of cosine theta plus i sine theta, all squared. Now use the logarithm rule. Log of a to the power b equals b times log of a. That gives 2i theta equals 2 times the natural log of cosine theta plus i sine theta. Divide both sides by 2. We get i theta equals the natural log of cosine theta plus i sine theta. Step 5. Exponentiate to solve. To undo the logarithm, exponentiate both sides. So e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. Finally, replace theta with x, since it's just a variable name, and we arrive at Euler's beautiful formula, e to the ix equals cosine x plus i sine x.